Hi there, Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Christy, from In the Stars by Christy.com. So, um, this is the spread that we have for this month, and we are going to be taking a look on what's going to be what's really going on with you at the present moment and what's going to be happening soon in terms of your love life and relationships and the very outcome of the situation as the month unfolds and over here we do have some form of karmancy just to give us more insight into the situation and then um we also have this um cards that i made by myself were in to give us more um details on any themes or topics that could be playing out for this month of april as well and then oh, over here i have a uh, twin flame notes cards uh were in to give us more information on the inner voice on what's really happening for you in terms of your love life so um yeah without any further ado let's just dive into the reading and see what's going on for a lot of you cancer people again this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in for each and every one of you guys so just keep that in mind and um yeah let me just repeat that this reading is going to be relating and will resonate to any of you who are in their cancer sun moon and rising sign so um the first card we have over here is the ten of cups the eight of cups and the king of swords now this is a very interesting um energy because um this is more of a situation we're in it makes me feel that there is some form of love in in your field right now maybe you are loving someone but at the same time hurting at the same um, you know it's like love and hurt at the same time so you love someone too much to a point wherein it's hurting you so um there could be some form of situation regarding a specific person in your life it could be a specific man in your life because we do have the king of swords over here wherein maybe they are not being cooperative towards you they are not very open towards you or maybe they are not saying the right things towards you and it doesn't mean that they are lying it's just that i kind of feel that e the two of you are not exactly in the same wavelength during this time and since we do have a lot of cups energy here i would say that the month of april has that very emotional vibe into things and um it could be uh, problematic one way or another especially if you are you know i mean cancer people are very sensitive um beings and i kind of feel that this is going to be a month for in there's going to be a lot of discovery on the things that you're feeling and what you should be doing about those emotions you know that happens right there so um it can also mean that uh, your partner or you it could be uh, this the these readings can affect both you and the other person so you might have to check in which end of the stick is really um um for you and for the other person but it makes me feel that um one person in the relationship seems to be detached like um, we do have the Eight of Cups here. And also, this could also be a situation wherein you have made a decision over something. It could be in the relationship. It, it gives me an energy wherein something is changing, you know. Uh, one day, I decide on plan A. And then later on, <laughs> after five minutes or so, I decide to go to plan B. So there's something very inconsistent in the air right now. And maybe maybe all of the emotions that you are feeling as you enter the month of april is because of the fact of your problem or issue with this relationship or with this person so and i kind of feel that this is also more of a situation wherein you know sometimes we we think that love is the most important thing of all and at one aspect it is really important and um a huge aspect in terms of relationship 
but at the same time i it makes it gives the the idea we're in part of you is trying to question if is it practical you know is love really the most important thing in the world <laughs> you know there's a lot of questions that is really happening here and you are having a lot of doubts on the things that you have decided upon uh, whether to continue this path with this person especially when they are not really making you happy uh, so there are situations like that and we do see here that we have the king of cups the justice card and the four of cups so um if you would ask me you know whatever it is that you feel during this time during the present moment it doesn't really change very much as you go to the near future um the only difference that this is giving is that you are now able to you know if this is a point of detachment a point of feeling frustrated and feeling depressed or feeling um disappointment it's like this is really more of a situation we're in you have a lot of questions in the air and you have a lot of doubts and you know you could be thinking really negative you know at one point there's something really happy about what you're feeling and then another point you are very disappointed so there is there is a situation of being lost in the process but as you move forward in the near future we are seeing that you are now being um able to to see the pros and cons into the situation and maybe you are at the verge of making decision or maybe there are now things that you are able to see you know um, and it doesn't have to be something very physical um, or material you know it could be something that you are seeing in your mind's eye maybe in your intuition your inner self uh, all those kinds of energies so and it also is a situation wherein maybe you are hiding what you feel you know all the turmoils of your emotions are being hidden right now and you're not really expressing what you feel anymore and maybe this is because you have a lot of fears of disappointment you are uh, fearful that if you express yourself um uh, either things are gonna fall apart or it's not gonna change anything so we have here the four of cups this is this is really more of a situation wherein you know that you wanted something in your life but at the same time you're not really able to take action on anything you're waiting but at the same time you don't know if there is really something to wait for so i hope you guys are seeing the difference right there it's like you know this is really more of a situation we're in you know i am just so in the clouds right now i don't know where life is going to drift me <laughs> but i am going to risk anyway i'm going to be waiting anyway i'm going to stay where i am right now whether that is right or wrong and it gives him an impression we're in this is about a person that is really really patient you know this is about a person who who loves someone uh, regardless of the odds of the situation and really would want to to wait for that person to um you know okay against all times you know um whether they are doing something or not doing something whether that person is initiating or not this is really more of a person wherein they are willing to to be hurt or at the very least they are they are willing to endure the the hardships or the unhappiness of a situation maybe because they have some form of big loyalty towards someone you know all of those kinds of things so over here um we have the K king of wands the seven of pentacles and the ace of wands now this is really more of a point wherein we are going to see that there is going to be some form of sprout of a new beginning of a new chance to you know there's going to be something that gets ignited in you by the end of april but uh, 
the way that I'm seeing this, this is really more of a month of you, for you that you are all about waiting. You're all about being patient. And yes, you are going to be frustrated with this energy, but you are not really willing to change things. So it gives, it gives me an impression we're in, um, you are just going to understand the other person and i really don't want to judge because i do believe that each person is undergoing right now um different experiences and there are different lessons to that i just kind of feel that this is really more of a month for you wherein things are quite stagnant and the only thing that keeps changing is your emotions your frustrations and what you feel and I kind of feel that the other person is not really showing very much of their interest towards you. It does not mean that they do not like you or they do not want you. I just kind of feel that they don't express too much of what they are feeling, you know. Um, this is, we, we have three kings here and this is the card we're in, someone who is very cold and this one is someone who is really, really, uh, an expert with, when it comes to hiding their feelings and we have the king of wands we're in, um, even though that they care for you, they are not going to show it. They're not going to, um, tell, say anything to express what it is that they are feeling but there is definitely going to be some form of change that is going to come with that um by the end of the month i also feel that you know there is going to be conclusion during that time you know so i expect that you know any form of movement and happening it might be happening by the end of april for you guys or maybe at the next month or so this is going to be a very emotional month but at the same time it gives a feeling wherein you you feel stuck you feel that uh, things are not actually moving and this is about you um thinking about various things but at the same time not really making progress when it comes to their love life and relationships so not really the best reading i would say but um this is really what i'm picking up so please don't hate the messenger this is the message that we are seeing for um um cancer people overall and i kind of feel that this is um this is more of a situation wherein there are a lot of things that you have to know and that you have to understand. So uh, I personally believe that it does not mean uh, whenever we're seeing a lot of movement, a lot of forward energy, it means that it's good. Sometimes the, uh, the reflection and introspective part of life is also very important like you know for you to experience all of these emotions and you know getting to know about yourself about the other person and how much you can um withstand <laughs> the situation that you are in right now could give you a lot of energy uh, or could give you insight into the future in terms of your relationships. Now, uh, we also have your the card of waiting for an opportunity to come by. We have the third party and the nostalgia. So this can be a situation we're in. <laughs> Basically what I said, you know, again, um, this is really the cards that we are seeing over here is really more of a confirmation of the breathing and giving us some form of expansion on the themes and topics that might not be within the spread that we have over here but um it's correlated to one another and we're seeing here that there's going to be a lot of waiting and like i said earlier this is a lot of frustration a lot of waiting and we're not really seeing some form of forward momentum going on or progress in the relationship it's really more about thinking of the past thinking of what has happened into, into the relationship and thinking of the present moment what's going on what i am feeling right now what is he feeling does he still love me does he still want to be with me what's going on what's going to be happening in the future you know all of those things are being in question right now so there could also be a situation that maybe for some of you guys there could really be a literal third party involved 
but um, for the rest of you, this could be a situation wherein um, you cannot act alone into the situation right now because maybe the control or the power over the situation is not within your hands it could be with another person because the third party card over here um can represent another person or the other person so it really depends right now so and also with the twin flame notes we have here the i need to be alone soon and do not pressure me i am afraid so i kind of feel that this could also be a situation right now wherein if you are going to nag your partner you know or nag uh, your lover this is a time we're in maybe you need to step back on that hold off on that even though emotionally you feel that you need answers here and now i want i want to make progress and all of that i uh, there's something that i want to know there's something that i want to experience i want to demand something um this could be like uh giving us some form of warning that you know you are going to be disappointed because this person needs to be alone they need some form of distance towards you maybe they are having their own issues there could be some form of problems wherein you are not aware of or there are few things that they need to sort out and um the things that you say could be added pressure to them that is making them do the opposite of what you want them to do it could also be that you know they are emotionally closed off or there are a lot of fears going on with them and there's going to there they, there might be a lot of hesitations with what they are feeling right now so they are not really in the mood for love and romance as a whole so there could be a lot of those energies in place so creating a, a mood or an ambience wherein it kind of feels that the energy is very very low and all of that so um yeah but um i do i do know that there go there's going to be some form of answers going to be revealed to you some form of news going to be given to you sooner or later it's just that um what i'm unsure of is whether it is something that you are going to be happy about or not so um i did get doing my gypsy card reading so let me shuffle them to give us more insight into things on what we might have missed for those of you cancer sun moon and rising sign for the month of april 2021 okay so we have here the pathway card the occupation and concern now this is very interesting pathway is all about choices and decisions and it's that point of your life where it, you don't know what to do anymore but you know that you want to have some form of answer and the occupation card can be something to do with career something to do with work but at the same time uh, since we're talking about relationships this could be something that you you really love you know even though that the relationship that you have with your partner is something that is very uh it's like a downer or uh, it could be a relationship wherein you're you feel that you are the only one who's doing all the hard work you are happy to to make effort you know you are happy and you're willing to make effort for this person because maybe you truly love them and they might not be the best person uh, in the world but they are for you and with the card of concern concern uh, the concern card actually means that there is really something that is really really troubling you during this time so it gives that energy we're in i love this person and i cannot think of anyone to be with but this person alone but i'm filled with worry right now and i'm filled with a lot of thoughts in my mind and i cannot even distinguish if it's positive or negative anymore you know i'm having a lot of issues right now when it comes to my emotions and what i'm feeling I need to know what to do about this relationship but there's a lot of things that i don't know 
and that is really more of the energy that we're getting with this reading and i kind of feel that um this is really a month we're in you don't need to push yourself to get answers here and now because i kind of feel that you won't get them anyway so uh, just let them be do not pressure them and once they are ready i feel they are going to open up and talk to you once again but this is not the right time to push things forward and i guess my advice here is that you know if you cannot make any progress with your partner use this month uh, as a time to spend more time to yourself love yourself more do something like a hobby or do some form of work or do something different to um to change your mood or uh, change your mindset into things and uh, remove yourself from any negativity that you have been thinking or feeling it could be a time for you to spend time to nurture yourself to help other people or help yourselves all at the same time you know do the things that you were not able to do um because you have you are so fixated with your partner or with this person in question in this reading so uh, instead of you, you know, waiting around and being frustrated about something that is not coming within the month, um, it's best to plan your your days um, doing something more productive and something that can make you happy and can make you feel love, even self-love, those kinds of energies. So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Cancer um not the best reading but um yeah <laughs> take what resonates and leave the rest that's going to be my advice again this is not going to be for each and every cancer people obviously so um yeah let me know how this reading resonates with you i'd love to know how it goes so um if you do want a more personal reading just check in specifically your own situation because this is a general reading you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com by the way i did make a facebook group for divinations tarot and astrology so i do post my updates and other teachings and education there and if you're interested i'll leave the link down below this video and i'll see you guys again next month bye